Sarkozy and the Nazi bitch saying democracy is fucked. And do you imagine that had we not done what we did do, or people would not have criticised us for not for being in the lead? Why is, it, why is it, they would have asked, that those who pay the largest sums, those who are the most powerful economies in Europe, should not shoulder their burden of responsibility? I think that if there is a problem indeed, it is not uh, that there is too much leadership, but that there is not enough leadership. And listen to me carefully. In all throughout all these crises, we have been determined to preserve and safeguard unity and solidarity throughout Europe. Both the Chancellor and I are profoundly European. And if we have gone ahead as we have, it's because we have needed to. It is our duty. It's not a very, it is not a very pleasant position to be in ours right now, but it is a necessary one. I quite purposely spoke about an unusually serious situation, but I also said that this was um, a talk among the partners, and with Europe and the Euro we created something that, um, well, has the admiration of the world all over, and that is something that uh, ensures the prosperity of our people, and this is why we have the task to defend it, that in democracy parliaments wish to have their say, that people wish to form an opinion, is part and parcel of our free society, and we'll never give this up, um, not sacrificing this on the altar of having a quick decision. We will not um, abandon the principles of democracy, but if the principles of democracy are to apply, and this goes for Germany, for France, and also for Greece, we cannot um, put at stake the great work of unification of the Euro and of uh, the European Union. Each and every one can decide um, on the basis of democracy um, whether they wish to um, adopt this, but we also have to say what our priorities are. We wish Greece to remain in the Euro area, but if the Greek people said, say, the difficulties that are linked to this, um, this obliga these obligations that are linked to this, with the solidarity of the member states of the Eurogroup, because these are always two sides of one and the same coin, are obligations that we do not wish to shoulder. We would still, that is their decision, uh, but we will not give up the Euro because of that, and I think it's something good that we do there on the basis of democracy. Some people then say, but it takes so long, then we tell, tell our friends in the rest of the world, well, maybe it may take one day longer, but we have uh, had to take the people along with us. This is part and parcel of democracy. It means leadership. Uh, it means taking the right decisions, uh, as we did it today. But it always uh, means also to give parliaments their say and to give the people their say which is why I say yes again. Today, this was an important day. Um, these are very difficult uh, uh, talks, um, difficult meetings. It's tough tomorrow under the French presidency, and we will meet uh, and the day after tomorrow with countries that get more and more competitive every day. They have every reason to be self-confident. And if we tell the people on our continent, be it France, be it Germany, or any other European uh, country, if we wish to promise our people prosperity in the future, we have to uh, be uh, able to compete uh, with our rivals. So it would be very wrong uh, to not to see the realities of the day and not to ensure for our future generations, for our children and grandchildren, the competitiveness, the, com to the ability to um, hold our own in the future. This is our responsibility in the Euro area, but also in the G20, and I'm looking forward to the French presidency tomorrow and the day after tomorrow. Thank you.